What's going on, y'all? It's the odd man, Oddly Stevenson, here on NBL Canada Live, the official blog of the National Basketball League of Canada. The Oshawa Power closed out their regular home season in style with a 120-119 overtime win against the St. John Millrats. The Power needed that win in order to stay in playoff contention. After the game, I had a chance to speak with Oshawa Power head coach Robert Bricky. Oh, we're here now with the winning coach, the Oshawa Power, final regular home game of the season. That's got to feel pretty good. It does. Uh, we've got a little momentum. Our guys are really starting to play better defensively. And that's the key for us. If we defend and rebound and we're the aggressor in transition, we're pretty good. Now, you know, it, dramatic fashion, no doubt. I mean, going in overtime, uh, you know, when you think about a way to close out a game, I mean, obviously, you know, you want to win it. But, right. you know, right. but winning in an overtime, is it any different in terms of feeling or a win's a win? A win's a win. I, I thought we should have won it in regulation. We had a defensive mix up there, a lot of them get an open look for a three. But we kept our heads and uh, we were able to defend and rebound well enough to finish in overtime and because three out of our last four games have gone to overtime. So uh, I think we've learned, we lost in London about two weeks ago and we learned some things. So, from uh, you know, this being the first step, obviously, you know, the playoffs is uh, still very much in your in, in your eyes in terms of where the team wants to go. Right. Um, how do you keep the team focused? Because obviously, you know, you get caught up in the win, but this is just one of many steps, obviously. Well, I think part of it is explaining the big picture. Right. We have to take care of our business first. And we have to win these games. Uh, but you have to do it one game at a time. So let's understand where we need to go ultimately, but how we're going to get there in, in, by individual steps. And and then trying to save our guys' legs. We're playing with a couple of injuries and a yes. short bench. So our guys are really fighting. They're playing a lot of minutes, so it's tough. So we try to keep them focused, have short, quick practices where we need to work on a few things, get in, get out, get some shots, rest our legs. Because we got now we got to travel, yes. play back and play two games and – three days, four days on the road. A little different scenario, but our, our guys do a pretty good job uh, of being focused on the road there. Less distractions. For sure, for sure. One final question. Uh, how big was it for the fans tonight to get this win, the final home game of the season here for the fans? Well, I think it's really big. Our, our fan support since I've been here has been tremendous. They, the energy is great in the building. It really helps us. Uh, and I think, I hope that's a catalyst for next year. We got to take the momentum at the end of the season here and build on it for next year and start putting things in place so that their experience is even better next year. I think our game day ops team does a great job of making this a, a good experience even for a non-basketball fan. So uh, I'm excited about being here and, what, and what's taking place in Oshawa. Hey, listen, I appreciate the time, Coach. We're going to keep an eye out for the for the power as they close out the season and make that playoff push. This is NBL Canada Live. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.